Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Some of you have asked about thread restoring files. Well, this is a thread restoring file made by the General Company, uh, made in USA. So it's uh, obviously a fairly old file. I've had it in the drawer for, I don't know, years. Never really needed it and never got it out to do anything with it. So for this video, I actually pulled it out, opened up the package, which had never been opened, and I'm going to show you how it works on sharpening the lead screw on an auger bit. Auger bits, if nothing else, are very old. You don't find very many of them brand new anymore. You can still buy them, but most people come up with an auger bit that's been around a few hundred years. The thread restoring file has a series of different threads on it. And what I'm looking for is a thread that matches the pitch or the number of threads per inch that this lead screw has. This one has 12 threads per inch. Another way to do it is to take a scale and take a marked distance on the thread. This, this thread's a half inch long. And then count the number of threads in that half inch. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That tells me if there's six threads in a half inch, there's 12 threads in a whole inch. That makes it this part of the file, which is 12 threads per inch, is the one I want to use. Then you just rest the file on the threads. And run it across. Now the shape of the thread is already in the file. The other thing you want to do is there's an angle that the file that the file has to ride at. To follow that thread, I want to match the angle of the thread. I've got it at 12 threads per inch. Set that part of the file on the top of it, hold it at the proper angle, and just run it back and forth. Now if you have a really badly damaged thread, and this one isn't badly damaged at all, it's just a little dull. Then you want to start on a section that's still good and work your way towards the section that's bad. And you want to roll the file around so that you're not just filing a flat in the threads. The point of the exercise is to have it so that the thread is rounded with good sharp points on all the threads. Now while I'm working on this auger bit, I'm being careful of those edges. This hasn't been sharpened yet, but they're still sharp enough to cut you. And because this file doesn't have a handle, which would be a good project for me to do, I'm gonna wear a glove so it doesn't dig into the palm of my hand. When 
when you pick this up, you want to make sure you get the 12 thread branch section of the file on the part that you want to do the cutting with. It's easy to pick it up, get it out of rotation, and end up cutting the wrong thread. And you want to check the thread every once in a while to make sure everything's going good. Now if you run across one thread that's really screwed up, you can take a three-cornered file and carefully go along that thread. You want to follow the pattern of the thread best you can because you don't want to end up with this file going off one side or the other because it will make the thread out of shape. Once you've got that bad part taken care of, then you go back to your thread file because the thread file is going to use one thread to track the other. And it's going to hold the angles right. Now we've dressed down the threads on this auger bit. We'll see how it cuts. Red's doing a good job of pulling the bit. The bit itself is dull as a butter knife, but that thread is pulling it right on in. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments below. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. Thank you.